Welcome back. After three years of experience using the MA3 software for live shows, we are releasing a new tool today to improve your busking workflow. We've created a ready-made show file that reduces the time it takes to set up your console for a new stage layout to almost nothing. Taking the concept of MA3 recipes and running with it, we think we've found a very simple way to create a show that works for everyday operation almost at the push of a button. It's been almost three years since the release of our Color Pickup plugin and we're very grateful for the support we've received along the way as well as the many ideas and feedback we've gotten. In the process of creating this show file, we've also made a few minor improvements to the plugin, which we'll be releasing as an update very soon. In creating the template show, we've taken the intuitive concept of the push of a button color picker generator and try to expand it to an entire show, spanning positions, intensity effects, movement effects and much more. We've made all these features available in ready to go but easily customizable layout views, a button and fader layout, as well as a structured and easy to handle scheme for all pool objects. Both the layout views and the hardware layouts are ready for GrandMA3 consoles and command wing setups. Getting started with the template show is a very easy three step process. You patch your fixtures, you set up your fixture groups, and finally you adjust your basic presets for your fixtures. All in all, not more than 30 minutes of work. The rest of the process, creating movements and intensity effects, the color picker and converting all your presets to a show ready layout is all done by an integrated macro and a master plugin. By default, we've set up the show file to allow for five different main fixture groups. For each fixture group, there are 10 position presets, eight gobo presets, three prism and three zoom presets, as well as 15 pre-configured intensity and movement FX. 10 tap chases, 10 multi-parameter FX and 10 override positions. These numbers are all customizable, but we found in practice this works very well for the most typical shows without creating an overcrowded layout. Let's see how we adapt the show to a new stage in practice. As you remember, the first thing you have to do is patch your fixtures, create groups and adapt your presets. So let us switch to MA3 and check this out in practice. First. Open the patch menu and ensure that all of your fixtures are patched properly. We've already built in a lot of patched fixtures, 48 per fixture group, in order to give you a good initial setup. So you can just change the fixture types according to your stage. If this works for you, you can simply stick to this pattern, but you don't have to use our fixtures. You can simply start with an empty patch and patch the fixtures according to your personal preferences. Using our fixtures might have the benefit that some of our presets are already working for your fixture types, so you don't have to adapt them. Then you head over to the groups view to set up your fixture groups. When building the groups, you only have to build one group for every fixture type. Here it is very important that you build these groups called SimRig according to the positions of the fixtures on the stage using the 2D selection grid. In our case, we have a stage with three trusses of 12 fixtures per type, as well as a floor set of another 12 fixtures. If your stage looks different, please make sure that these groups are created according to the layout of your stage. Otherwise, the effect forms might look different. After setting up your groups, you can move on to the presets. Here we've added a cool feature to navigate through the show file. By clicking on these macros up here, you can change the view for the different fixture groups. And as you already realized, this will also change the view over here. So if you move to the groups, you can simply jump back in here where you left off and get back to work. In the presets section, you will find general presets like the spot dim on, spot IFX off and so on. You most likely won't have to touch these presets and you can simply focus on the presets down here. You adjust fixture precisions as needed, your gobos, the gobo rotation presets, the prisma presets, the presets for the strobe and the random strobe of your fixture and the presets for the zoom. After this, you can move on to the next group. Do this for all five of your fixture groups if they have the corresponding features. After you've completed step one to three, it's time to make the magic happen. Simply head over to the macro view, navigate to global and find this macro called master. So let's just hit it and take a short coffee break. 
the master macro will recreate the entire show file and in the process triggers several smaller macros and Lua scripts. The entire process will take about one minute. As you can see in the background, there are many other macros which can also be used individually. The most important ones are probably these four. Switch to console and switch to command will allow you to easily switch between screen and hardware layouts for the console and command wing setups. Reset show file will kill all running sequences and init show file will restart all necessary sequences to get you up and running again. You can use those two in case of any trouble or unwanted behavior. In the next few weeks, we'll release further videos explaining the features more in detail. For example, how to go through the first three steps with an entirely different stage. After the master macro has finished its job, the pop-up of the color picker plugin will appear. Normally, there's no need to change any setting here and you can simply press reinstall, generate and then confirm. After this, you're ready to go. After this process is done, it is time to explore your new layout views. There are two show layouts packed with the different layout views, which you can find at the bottom of your view sidebar. There's a layout A and a layout B. On A, you can find on the top left the positions for your three moving light groups. Down below, you will find the corresponding position FX, so the movements. On the up right, we will find our already known color picker layout where you can pick the color of a corresponding fixture group. And below, the layout for the intensity FX can be found. Now let us switch to layout B. On B, you can find all the settings for the optics of a fixture, for example, for the gobos, the prism, and the zoom. Down below, our multi FX are located. MultiFX will influence more than only one parameter, so not just only the intensity or the position. So they are used for things like our fly-in effects or zoom and iris patterns. Moving further down, we can find the RigFX, which will incorporate all your fixture groups at the same time. So they are really special and powerful, perfect for high impact looks. On the top right, you can find the selects for our tap chasers, which we will explain in detail in a future video. Last but not least, there is the layout for the selects to select different override positions. These are intended to highlight, for example, solo positions. Here we will also have a closer look in a future video. Beside the layout views on the screen, there is also a corresponding button and fader layout for your hardware as already mentioned. On the left section, you will find the most important controls for each fixture group. There is a corresponding group master to control the intensity and align to it some flash keys for white color bumps, a strobe and a random strobe. On the middle section, the tap chasers are placed. You can use them to manually tap different steps of chasers to the beat and adjust their impact with the fader. Please note that they won't work automatically, so stay tuned for our special video on this feature. Above, there are some further flash keys for quick access to blind positions to blind your audience. We love these keys in combination with other flash keys. Last but not least, we then have our write section. This features the control of the override positions, which we will explain separately, and a size control section for our intensity and position FX. Please note that they work in an inverted way. We will end this video with a look at our roadmap and the way we'd love to develop the show file together with you in the future. After the initial release video today, we will be actively working on bringing you informative videos on working with and customizing the show file to your needs in the next few months. We are also currently working on some new exciting features for the show file that aren't quite ready for release yet. We'll be incorporating a color effects engine that works together with our color picker. And in addition, we are developing virtual pre-select layouts that will allow you to pre-select multiple new effects and settings in the background and prepare them for the right moment. Then you can change to those effects and settings by the click of a button. We are also hoping for your ideas and the experience working with the show file. We've built a file that works with the workflow we know and use day to day, but we are committed to making it a usable workflow for all of you. We're hoping to incorporate your user feedback and feature ideas in the future development of our show file. The show file will be available from now on with a special early access deal until the next big update this summer. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.